Welcome back guys, it's Monday, it's a new week and I have a lot of work to do because in this episode we're gonna shape this thing. As always, my name is Lars and this is The Building of Cavazir. So, in this episode, I want to complete the look of the base. I need to plane the top, because right now it's all uneven. I need to plane even the, the S-stock, given the final shape. I need to carve the neck and body transition, which will be fun. I need to take away a lot of material for that. And I need to cut even, I need to carve even the transition between neck and stock. And obviously I need to carve the neck, which is my, actually my favorite thing of all the um, uterus stuff. So I need to take away the excess. So this will be a very, uh, this will be a montage because I need to, I want to do as a first thing, cut the excess, plane this thing, and I want to recarve the pickup. And I want to give it the final shape. Because I promise to show you before Christmas the look of this done. And right now it's the 20 of December. So I need to start here and do it very quickly. These two job, do a quick video for you and then continue to work. This is the part that I love the most and it's the most enjoyable. Trust me, if you never build a guitar, the assembly, gluing, playing stuff, it's, it's not boring, but it's very difficult. And you will not see the result of that hard work until the very end. But carving is instant pleasure. You will see the result immediately and you will see your work taking shape and the look that you want. So. I want a little bit of gratification right now. And I will start with this. Let's go with the cutting. I sound evil, way evil than I want to. I thickness the top, now this weight a lot less. Now I have my template. I need to cut the template and then we can cut the shape finally. Now that the general shaping is done, it's time to work on the back. I need to put something to protect the face. First thing. Now I need to do three things. I will start with the body, work the shape here, then I will cuff the neck, thickness the top and work on the transition. So let's start with this part. Here I have the body. I need to work like here and I will make like a small a small curve and here I will try to do something like this and I will probably try to connect here 
uh, it's a lot of wood to take away but I should be able to do this with my trusty hammer this gouge maybe the smaller one I think but we need to see Carving the neck is one of the most important and satisfying part of this job. And with the Greenstone guitar method, it's actually really quick and really easy. So I will never shout about it. So how do you carve a neck? For this method, you will need a neck that is of the right thickness and of the right width. And you don't count the, fi the fingerboard on this. So, the basic idea is to facet the neck in order to approximate a curve. Now, the first thing that you want to do is divide the back of the neck into two parts and work on one half at a time. So, divide that half, both the neck and the side, into two other parts. You will draw two lines, giving you one quarter of the back and half of the side. And now you just need to remove the material between the two lines. And now you have three face. You divided the three face in half again, and you just take away the material between the line once again, giving you six face. You repeat the process again for the other side, and you basically have what is a almost done neck. Now you can take this process even further and divide that now 12 face into half and take away the material or you at this point just can use some sandpaper really curved sandpaper so 60 80 weight and just move everything and you're done and this job took me half an hour i use this method for every single instrument that i made and it works every time so now it's time to look at the stock. So now it's the time for carving the transition. So for that I think that I will still use the gouge in probably half round and a round file. These are actually a little finer than what I had the last time. As you can see I already mark where I want the carve to go. It's this line right here. And so I think that I will just start. Before moving to the last job of the video, that will be done on the edge of the body, I want to drill the hole on the stock and I have the right tool for the job, or I should say the right drill bits. A step drill, so I will go from both sides. I think that I can go until I arrive to 12 from this side for everything and then I will go to the other side, 12, and then I will do I think 40 and that should be enough to give me what I need. Yeah, this is as always a little bit scary, it's always scary to drill uh, on the stock but I need to do it. Now 
now I only have to do one little job. I need to make the edge curve because I, when I envisioned this, I thought about a curve edge, at least on the top. So how I'm going to do this? I think that I will try the same trick that I did on the neck for this. So draw a bunch of line and then take away material. So what I think that I will do is draw the first line here, one centimeter. Then I will draw a second line at five millimeter. I will take away this part here. Then I will basically probably just around the edge, I think. Okay, I, I have to be honest, I didn't expect it to work so well. So I will do the rest for the rest of the top and I will see you for the end. I mean, this was quick and the curve is perfect. Wow. And it took me seven minutes to do the entire side to almost perfection. Just need sanding. So yeah that was quick and I will see you in a moment And now I can show you the base. Now this base just needs a lot, a lot of sanding. But this is not what we will do on the next episode because I have other idea, I have other things to do. But yeah, back to work. So, I'm recording this two weeks later, the last, the last scene. I went a little ahead. I actually record the next episode that will be interesting. I know that that will be interesting. More wood, more wood, more stuff, more little piece done. And uh, yeah, I would like to thank you, my coffee supporter. I would like to thank you, the subscriber. We are now at 16. That's the road to 100 can wait and yeah I will see you next week where I'm going to do something a little bit interesting a little different from what I did until now uh, somewhat still doing more wood anyway thank you for watching it's good to be here again and I will see you next week for the next episode of the building of Cavazia bye